now if you want to trigger this from python interpreter we can go to the documentation and get the code so first we need to import the genie testbird dot load so i'm already into py ats virtual environment so you can just give python and i'll give this After that we need to give the test bit file. In our case it is going to be yaml slash my test bit dot yaml. And after that we need to define a device tb dot devices inside that we can give any particular device so we'll give csr hyphen 17 dot 3 and to connect to the device you need to execute device dot connect so now this will connect to the device and all these connection properties we can customize you want to see the customization options here we'll go to the previous page and if you open this document you should be able to see the connection customization options we don't have to get into this detail at this stage but we can customize all these options from here so now this is connected to the device now if you want to parse any output And now if you just try to print dir of device we should be able to see all the methods supported in the device and now if you do a parse device dot I'll give show version so now this gives the show version output the parsed show version output in the terminal same way we can give any other command and if you want to filter any kind of output from this what we can do is first I'll create a variable here in the next video we'll see how to write this from PyCharm we'll add the same virtual environment into PyCharm project and then we'll create a folder and add a python script to pass all this show version parsed equal to device dot and now the value will get stored into show version passed from there we will try to get some data so from there we will try to get this particular version version showed so the key is going to be version and inside that we have version short so let us filter that so inside that our key is 
version and let us verify the syntax once again so here it is show version passed So now we are getting this data like that you will be able to pass any of the data from this particular output so cisco is already having all the parsing logic available within the pi ats and in the next video we will try to convert this into a proper python file and run it from pycharm i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to parse the cisco show command output using pi ats cli and python thanks for watching see you in the next video